To dispel a common misconception, Dubai is not solely comprised of glitzy hotels and shopping centers. This enormous desert metropolis has numerous museums, art galleries, and boutiques that emphasize cutting-edge design. Anyone planning their first trip to Dubai should be prepared for a seemingly endless supply of exciting activities. So here's a list of the best things to do in Dubai for first-timers. Take a dive in the Aura Sky Pool. The Palm Tower's 200-meter-high observation deck features Aura Sky Pool, the world's highest infinity pool. The pool is 1.25 meters deep, so you can walk its entire circumference without having to get out of the water. You can relax in the pool's sparkling waters by its edge with a cool drink in hand and take in the panoramic vista. At Aura's Lounge and Bar, guests can choose from a wide variety of cocktails and other beverages in addition to the restaurant's delicious Pan-Asian fare. The panoramic views from 50 stories up of the Palm are an excellent way to observe Dubai from above and change your perspective of the city. Tickets start at $46 each and can be purchased in advance online. Treat yourself to fun at the Global Village The magnificent Global Village in Dubai is essentially an amusement park with rides and activities suitable for children of all ages. It offers music, rides, foods, and attractions from all over the world and is open from late October to mid-April. The attraction is located outside the central city, but if you're in the area and looking for international shopping and entertainment, it's well worth the trip. Go on a water adventure at AquaVenture Water Park since its most recent expansion, the venue has grown by a third and is now widely regarded as the largest water park in the world. Its newest wing, Trident Tower, is home to the largest water parks dedicated to children in all of the Middle East, Splashers Lagoon and Splashers Cove. More than 30 slides and attractions can be found at AquaVenture. These include the longest lazy river in the Emirates, many adrenaline-pumping rides, and a private beach. There are also opportunities to get up close and personal with stingrays, dolphins, and sea lions, as well as record breaking water slides to get your adrenaline racing. Go shopping at the Dubai Mall Those who want retail therapy will love the district surrounding the Burj Khalifa in central Dubai. Featuring over 1,300 retail outlets, the Dubai Mall easily ranks among the world's largest shopping malls. The vast shopping center is a must-see even if you have no intention of buying anything. It features a number of family-friendly activities like a movie theater, an ice skating rink, and an aquarium with hundreds of marine animals. If you're ever in the area at night, be sure to check out the Dubai Fountain in front of the mall. Every night, the fountain performs to a unique musical score that blends Western and Eastern influences. It's an excellent spot for tourists to spend the day. Explore the Jumeirah Mosque Located to the north of Dubai Marina, the Jumeirah Mosque is a coastal landmark that soars above the water. The intricate white facade, featured on the 500 dirham bill, is reminiscent of the Fatimid-era buildings from the Middle East. In contrast to Dubai's neighboring mosques, non-Muslims are welcome inside to admire its elaborate decor, which features painted panels with intricate designs set against brilliant blue and yellow backdrops. But a word about behavior. Anyone wishing to visit a mosque should dress modestly, which means wearing long sleeves and slacks or skirts that reach at least to the knees. Scarves are mandatory headwear for all females. The mosque will gladly lend you appropriate garments if you don't own any already. If you're interested in history and culture, regardless of your religious beliefs, you should visit this site. Go have fun at the Jumeirah Public Beach Easily accessible from the Burj Al Arab, the Jumeirah Public Beach is Dubai's best public beach. The beachfront is a popular spot for water sports enthusiasts to enjoy the Gulf's tranquil blue seas and sunbathers to soak up the city's dazzling sunshine. There are plenty of places to grill up a meal and spread out a blanket at the public beach, in addition to the playground equipment for the kids. If you want to avoid the crowds, it's best to arrive early in the day. Recent visitors agreed that the pristine sands and clear water at the beach are appealing, but they noted the water was less than pleasant. It's also more comfortable to take a break from the heat at one of the beachfront cafes. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Visit the Al Marmoum Camel Racetrack. Al Marmoum is a famous historical site visited by people from all over the world who share a love of camel racing. Attending the camel races is a great way to immerse yourself in Middle Eastern culture as this tradition stretches all the way back to the 7th century. Spectators, including camel owners, trainers, and handlers, can get great views of the action from anywhere in the grandstands. Keep in mind, though, the races generally begin between 7 and 9 in the morning and that all commentary and announcements will be provided in Arabic. Go skiing in the sun. The ski resort at Ski Dubai has been described as dreamlike. 
There's always fresh powder at this indoor winter wonderland, even when the city outside is baking in the triple digits. When it comes to indoor ski resorts, Ski Dubai is the first of its kind in the Middle East. It has everything from toboggan runs and snowball battles to a freestyle snowboard zone and five ski runs. Besides a ski school for the kids and a colony of penguins, the building has the first indoor black run in the world. Some visitors have cautioned it's very chilly inside, and you should bring whatever extra winter equipment you may have, especially a hat and gloves. Feel the thrill of skydiving Skydive Dubai is the place to go if you want to jump out of a perfectly good plane and free fall over Dubai at 120 miles per hour. Those without prior diving expertise can jump in tandem with the company's guides, while certified divers can go alone. If you're looking for a thrilling experience and don't mind heights, the approximately $600 you'll spend on a tandem flight from Skydive Dubai's facility on the Palm is well worth it. Ride a zipline X-Line Dubai is one of the world's most extended, steepest, and fastest urban zip lines, and it allows riders to fly belly first across roads, skyscrapers, and swimming pools in Dubai. Traveling from the Jumeirah Beach residence to Dubai Marina at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, riders soar from a height of 560 feet and pass breathtaking scenery along the way. Enjoy the Middle East's cuisine in the sky. You have to fasten your seatbelt before pulling up a chair at a table at this out-of-the-ordinary restaurant in Dubai. You'll spend an hour sitting at a table nearly 165 feet in the air while it gently spins around. If you can handle the elevation, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking views of the Gulf and perhaps the most out-of-the-ordinary meal you'll ever have. The menu features items like burrata salads and Middle Eastern metze. It's lovely for a night of romance or a surprise party with a new love interest, long-term companion, or close friend. Visit the Etihad Museum. This cutting-edge museum provides an in-depth exploration of the history of the United Arab Emirates and its seven constituent emirates. An eclectic mix of locals and foreign history buffs from the UAE visit every year. The museum was built on the spot where, in 1971, the Unification Treaty that finally brought the country together was signed. Even though the Etihad Museum is neither massive nor particularly informative, a trip to Dubai wouldn't be complete without seeing these displays. Visit the Wild Wadi Water Park. The Wild Wadi Water Park, situated at the base of the Burj Al Arab, is home to 30 different water rides and play zones. The park itself is based on the Arabian folk hero Juha, who is mentioned numerous times throughout the attractions. Those searching for a heart-pounding ride can head to Tantrum Alley or the Burj Surge, while those in search of a more tranquil experience can float down the Lazy River. In addition to the Wipeout and Riptide, one of only four similar rides in the world, there are a number of milder slides available, as well as a children's water park. Go on a balloon desert tour. This excursion is one of the few options for exploring Al Awir Desert, which is roughly 35 kilometers from the heart of Dubai. It's well known as a center for agriculture and camel rearing. Dune bashing and quad biking are two other popular desert activities. An experienced balloonist and falconer pilot will be the only other person on this private tour. Aerial views of the desert reveal breathtaking scenery. The spectacular landscape is only enhanced by sightings of oryx and camels roaming the desert floor. The tour is perfect for those looking for a unique date idea or simply wanting to immerse themselves in the area's culture. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Dubai? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.